Hi guys, Andre from Convey of Randomness here, and today I'll be looking at what's in this box, the Fifine T669 USB microphone. So this is the Fifine T669 USB microphone, and it's the second Fifine microphone that I've reviewed after being impressed with the KO52 microphone, which I'll leave a link to up here. And thanks once again to Fifine for providing this mic and letting me test and review it. Now let's get over to the unboxing and I'll show you the bundle of goodies that you get in the box. So what you get in the box is the user guide, the thank you card with added warranty, pop-up filter, Once again, nicely packaged and protected when in transit. Backup accessories with two extra rubber rings for the shop mount, a rubber mat and clamp grip for the pop filter. A fully adjustable shop mount. A mini tripod stand for when you want to place the mic on a table. clamp for the arm stand which can accommodate the surface of up to about two inches A foam windshield for the microphone two and a half meter USB cable nicely branded with the Fifine logo arm stand which reaches to about 75 centimeters with attachment fitting to provide a more secure connection to the microphone. And the T669 microphone itself with its only adjustable dial setting, the volume, which essentially is the game. It's actually deceptively weighty for such a small microphone and with its all metal black build, the quality feels very premium. All those goodies that you get in the box where else can you get a microphone with all those accessories for the price which i will reveal and link to later on the t669 is a cardioid microphone so this microphone will only receive sound in one plane only which is directly in front of it and not above to the sides or behind the various mounts and stands allow you to have the microphone in different orientations depending on your preference. With the mini tripod, if you're looking for that simple on the desk look or are taking the microphone out to an external or outdoor location, this setup allows for easy transportation and the quickest setup as well. With the arm stand on a desk to give you that flexibility depending whether you're sitting or standing, if you are streaming, interviewing or recording, you'll always be able to get the microphone closer to your mouth. That's away from the table positioning means that you're going to significantly reduce those external sounds such as typing and clicking that you would normally get from a tabletop setup. In this setup, you can use the shop mount preventing those vibration sounds from getting into your recording. That can be a pain when removing in post. You can use the shop mount with the mini tripod, but you'll just need to make sure that the microphone is counterbalanced correctly. The secure connection between the microphone and the shop mount is achieved by unscrewing the threaded metal ring underneath the microphone, applying the shop mount and then reattaching the threaded metal ring to the microphone. 
You may see other videos on YouTube reviewing this microphone where the microphone is incorrectly positioned in the shock mount, resulting in the volume button being restricted by the mount and subsequently criticized by the review. In both setups, you can use the foam windshield or pop shield, depending on your preference, to eliminate those pesky popping plosive sounds. So what does the T669 sound like? I'm going to test the microphone plugged into a computer using the program Audacity at its lowest volume all the way up to its highest, just to give you that range that the microphone is capable of. So this is what the Fifine T669 microphone sounds like at its lowest. And as we go through the volumes, this is what it sounds like with increasing volume. And this is what it sounds like at its highest volume. So this is what the Fifine T669 microphone sounds like at its highest volume. So this is what the Fifine T669 microphone sounds with no windshield or pop filter on. This is what the Fifine T669 microphone sounds like with a foam shield on. And this is what the Fifine T669 microphone sounds like with a pop filter on. Can you hear any popping sounds in my voice? And this is what the Fifine T669 microphone sounds like in normal conversation. How does it sound? What do you think it sounds like? Um, is it something that... Does it sound really good? Just let me know in the comments below. So this is the Blue Yeti at its lowest gain. And I'm going to do it, dial it all the way up to the top. And this is it going through all the motions. And this is the Blue Yeti at its highest gain. So how do you think the Fifine T669 microphone compares to the Blue Yeti? Just let me know in the comments below. Another bonus that you get with the microphone is that you're able to plug it directly into your iPhone or iPad via the Lightning 2 USB adapter and you'll be able to use the T669 as your external microphone plug and play and it is able to recognize it as it is and an example of this is I've recorded the whole of this video using the Fifine T669 microphone plugged into my iPhone. So that's the Fifine T669 USB microphone, possibly the best budget microphone bundle that you can get. I will put the Amazon and Fifine website links in the description below if this is a microphone that you're thinking of getting. The sound quality that you get from this small, well-built microphone is really good and comparable to even the Blue Yeti. So it's definitely a worthy microphone if you're looking for a desktop, even portable device that you can use while streaming, recording and interviewing. And with that added bundle that you get included, you've got your whole audio solution sorted in one package. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated and would help the growth of the channel. And press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you go and watch one of these two videos before the time runs out? Three, two, one, go.